I have a doctor I can trust. I have a banker I can trust. And I have a mechanic that I can trust. And it took a long time to get him. Trust is the key to long-term success. It affects how we make decisions, and it is the number one predictor of consumer satisfaction. Trust is part of all social relationships, and all social relationships are built on trust. Earning the trust of your classmate, your coworker, your customer, or your supplier is key to your success. We all want to know, can I trust him? Can I believe in her? Will she do what she says she's going to do? Can I depend on them? We want to know, is the roof going to stay on? If I take a bus, is it going to get me from A to B? Will the pilots land a plane safely? And when I go to the grocery store, will the grapes that I buy be safe? Will they have bugs and spiders in them? And when I flip the slit, switch, will the light go on? Trust is critical to our success. Organizations and individuals that have high trust outperform those that don't. Does anyone in here play team sport? Well, it doesn't matter if you play basketball, baseball, volleyball, or soccer, or hockey. This study applies to all the team sports. There was a very famous study done of 30 men's college basketball teams. And in that study, what they found was that when the members of the team trusted their coach, the team outperformed, meaning they won more games. An empirical study was done of restaurants where they surveyed people who worked in restaurants and when they trusted their managers or their supervisors, the restaurants had higher sales revenues. The world's largest study on trust, the Edelman Trust Barometer, shows that 85% of consumers who trust products and services buy them from organizations they trust. 75% refer products and services from organizations they trust. Well, 73% refuse to buy products from organizations they don't trust. And 67% criticize. My father lives in a town where there are several car dealerships and lots of service mechanics. Yet he drives 500 kilometers to get his car serviced. Why? Because he wants to go to a place where he trusts his mechanic. Trust is bigger than convenience, it's bigger than price. People buy from people they trust. They support people they trust. Here's a picture of Snow White and James Bond 007. What do you think they have in common? They're both movie characters. Snow White is very reliable and she's predictable. Every day she goes to the house of the seven dwarfs and she cooks for them and cleans for them. And she's always thinking of their best interests. So she does this consistently. She's predictable. She shows up every day. So predictable and so consistent that the day she doesn't show up, they know something's wrong and they go to look for her. And then there's James Bond, 007. He is not that predictable, but he is consistent in that he always gets the job done. He's very competent. And most importantly, he always has the best interests of his employer, his country, in mind. And I guess we could say he's a little bit predictable because at the end of every movie, he always gets the bad guy or does the right thing. These are trustworthy characteristics. You cannot engineer or manufacture trust. You must be sincere and authentic. However, I have done quite a bit of primary and secondary research, and what I found is that there are some key principles that you can follow to earn trust and improve relationships with coworkers, classmates, colleagues. So I'm going to share a few of them with you today. The first one 
is behavior. Second that I'm going to talk about is actions, and then third, communications. So with behavior, it all starts with behaving with the other's best interests at heart or in mind. And I'm going to tell you a little story. This summer, my family and I went on holiday, and we drive a Volkswagen Jetta. And it's a little bit older. It's four or five years old. So there's always something happening. And we were a couple hundred kilometers from home, and my husband said, Natalie, there's a really loud sound in the car. And I said, no, no, no. You know, it's just old, and it's, you know, an old shaky car. No, there's something wrong. So a couple days into the trip, he said, I think that we need a new muffler. So when we returned from our holiday, I went into the mechanic that I mentioned to you that I can trust, John. And I said, John, I need a new muffler, and let's get an oil change, too. Okay, no problem. Just leave your keys, and I'll call you in a few hours. So I did, and within an hour, the phone rang, and it was John, which is not really a good sign when you have a mechanic and the phone rings right away. I have some good news for you, and I have some bad news. Okay, well, give me the bad news. Well, the bad news is it's not your muffler. And uh, it's your exhaust system. The entire exhaust system needs to be fixed. Oh, God. The whole exhaust system? Yeah. And um, it's an eight-hour job. We don't have all the parts. And it's $1,200. Well, I wasn't prepared for $1,200, and I was not happy about this. So I said, John, what do you mean a whole exhaust system? He goes, well, here's the good news. I've called the Volkswagen dealership. You have 3,000 kilometers left on your warranty, and they're going to fix it for you at no cost, and they're expecting you. Awesome. Well, that's awesome for so many reasons. He's thinking about my best interest, even when it's maybe not in the best interest of his little shop. I trust him. He's always thinking of my best interest. Actions. In the primary research that I've done, 100% of the respondents said that reliability was the most important characteristic of trustworthy actions. Do what you say you're going to do. When you deliver on your promise, you earn the trust. So reliability, consistency, predictability, just like Snow White and James Bond. Think about the brands that you trust. Starbucks, Google, Time Magazine, Tim Hortons, Four Seasons Hotels and Resorts. L.L. Bean, these brands all deliver on their promise. They're all predictable in that they do what they say they're going to do. And remember with actions that they always speak louder than words. What you do speaks so loud, I can't hear what you're saying. Communication is the third pillar that I wanted to talk about today. And in many ways, communications is the gateway to trust. And communication starts with empathetic listening. When you listen with empathy to understand, you inspire trust and you earn the trust of someone. Have you ever been to a party and you're talking to someone and you're in this great conversation and then all of a sudden you realize that they're not looking at you anymore and their eyes and the whole body is looking around, trying to see who else is coming in the room, or what so-and-so over there is saying, or what someone else is doing. This destroys trust. It erodes trust. Clarity is another important component of communication. And when I say clarity, I mean simple language that's clear, concrete, and concise. Jargon and complicated words, big words, complex images, and small print destroy trust. Because we tend to believe what we understand. We're inclined to 
understand simple language, all of us. So clarity, concise, simple language. Body language also counts. If I say to you, oh, I'm so happy to be here today, and this is such a great organization, I just wish it wasn't so cold and that I didn't have to park so far away, but, you know, thanks for having me. You may not believe that I'm as excited to be here as I am. Professor Albert Merivan did a study, and it showed that 93% of the believability of our message comes from the visual and the vocal elements of our message. So what that means is our posture, our body language, our visual, everything that you see, the way we dress, how we move our hands, our facial expressions, the tone of our voice, the pace, and the volume. All of this combined contributes to the believability of our message. So our messages not only have to be clear, but believable, because we trust what we believe. Trust cannot be engineered, nor can it be manufactured. Through deliberate behavior, action, and communication, we can earn the trust. Whether you are a student, a leader, a business manager, an owner of a business, we all must strive to succeed through trust. Because relationships and organizations built on trust succeed. It's that simple. Thank you.